Good morning, everyone. This is Kathy, and welcome to Stretch the Sketch. This month is so exciting. This is our fifth year of doing Stretch the Sketch. Now, Janet started this, and thank you so much for letting me play along. And I, I just love this. I love how we take a sketch and we shrink it down or make it a double page. Now, this month, we are celebrating five years, and we are all scrap lifting a layout of Janet's. I had one picked out, and then I happened to be browsing on Instagram and seeing this beautiful layout that Janet um, made and posted on her Instagram. So, this one caught my eye. I have the other one saved because uh, their dog, same colors as my son's dog, which they're different, but I it just inspired me. I've been having a hard time doing black and white because uh, she's black and white. So I've been wanting to really bring out the colors and make her pop. So that's what inspired me for this layout. Now, um, these little frames, they are just made out of paper, and I did, off camera, put some gesso on the back, or not on the back, hello, <laughs> on, I brushed it on and let it dry, plus I put gesso on my, um, 6 by 12 paper and that that is what I'm using white daisy cardstock now the first thing I'm going to do on my is my background she had a lot of beautiful mixed media so that's what I am doing here I make wipe up my mess the colors let's see the the yellow one is Distress Oxides Squeeze Lemonade. And then the this green one is Cracked Pistachio. And then I use Peacock Feathers. And then Seedless Preserves. Yes. Lots of pretty colors. I did um, use different colors for the frames. One more color. I left all this in, um, you know, just to kind of show you how I usually do it. And everybody's different. Sometimes I'll stick three fingers inside the bag. It'll give me better control. Clean my mat off here so I don't get any all over. All right, so now I need to think of where I want to put my frames. And I love having the cascade down the middle like she had it. I'm getting my paint brushes out. I'm going to do some splatters now because she did splatters on her layout. And I love splatters anyway. I think it just adds some nice detail. And I go through and I wipe up each one, clean my brush, and then on to the next color. The birds are really chirping outside. I have not even went out yet today, this morning. I um, went into my daughter's house in town and dug up, well, my son dug them up like, I can't even, more than a hundred hostas 
um, they were so overgrown, so I planted them. Um, I put some more around my house, and then I popped them in the ground um, in the backyard to have them grow. And then when I need them, I'll just go back there and dig them up and put them where I want them around the house. So I'm just kind of taking it easy. I was supposed to have it. Today is Thursday. And I was supposed to have a dentist appointment, but they called and canceled. So I have another week to breathe. No, I go Tuesday. That's right. So it's been pretty busy here this May. Um, I did get some new stuff in the mail. So I will be creating some layouts. I need to find me some good sketches. All right. Cleaning my brush. Now, Janet did stitching on her layout, and I just outlined my layout with ink pen. Um, I don't have my sewing machine out, and I just can't hardly see to thread the needle, so I don't use it. I would love to use it if the thread would just stay in there, and I wouldn't have to keep changing my thread. But I would like to bring that out in my scrap room sometime. I love sewing on layouts. I just think it looks so pretty. Alright, now that I've got all of the mixed media done, I'm going to start putting it together if I could put that straight. <laughs> Sorry, my chair's squeaky. All right, I want to lay these on there to see kind of where I want them. Here's the photo. I took this. I wish she was kind of sitting in the middle, but I do have another copy. But I needed a small photo, so this is like a two by two and a half photo. And it's kind of about, it fits the page I'm doing. She is just so pretty. She, her name is Gorgo. It's from the 300 movie. It's like a galaxy movie. My son got that name off of there. I'm going to mount it on white daisy cardstock. Just some scraps I had in my drawer. Gorgo will be three in De the end of December. And she is beautiful. She weighs... 118 pounds. She's the most lovable dog. I'm telling you, I don't know what, my son lives with me. I don't know what I'm going to do when he moves out. <laughs> I want him to leave Gorko. I'm going to miss her, but there's no sign of him moving out. So I will get to spoil her every night. A fun thing about her every night before I go to bed I say come here give me a mall hug she will come over lean up against me so that I could put my arms around her and give her a hug she's just the sweetest she is big but she she's just so sweet she greets the neighbor girls at the uh, mailbox and lets them pet her and just kind of says hi <laughs> and they used to be afraid of her because of her size and then they realized she's just so gentle it's like a gentle giant <laughs> so this is Gorko and I think it's so pretty having all those pretty colors now also on the five year it's wood veneer <coughs> I almost forgot to include wood veneer on my layout um, so I'm coloring them now I also in Janet's layout she had in the bottom frame she had a bunch of sequins I did glue all those in while I was talking you see me do that and then I just went through my stash and picked out some flowers. 
So the, this little piece here says girl. So it says sweet girl. And I will put the year on that little black label. Now what I'm doing is gluing my hearts on. Don't forget to go check all the scrapbookers that are joining this month on Stretch a Sketch and see what they are doing. Don't forget to congratulate Janet for all her hard work. I'm trying to dig through my wood veneer and pick out some little hearts because I still need some of the orange to put up top. Super cute. I love this layout. I'm glad I found this layout of hers. It's a beautiful layout, Janet. I started to use a brush on them and they work just as easy rubbing it on top. Easy peasy. Alrighty. That is it. I, oh, I forgot I, I do outline, but I think that is it after that. Um, don't forget to check out the links below and I will have close-ups and I will see you in June, I think. Unless I do a couple layouts, but May's been pretty busy for, oh, isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. Thank you so much for coming to watch my channel. If you would like to support my channel, I'll have my link listed below. Bye-bye.